Hello, hello, Jeff Elman here with Balan Brands, and today I'm going to show you how to send an email broadcast out of Keep. Now, Keep has a couple different interfaces. They have the newer Keep interface for Keep Pro and Keep Max. There's also Keep Max Classic, which was formerly known as Infusionsoft. Um, that is a separate video, so look for that on the channel if that's what you're after. Uh, but in this case, we're going to go ahead and show you, again, in the Keep interface, how to send an email broadcast. Um, now, the emails could be to you know a small segmented list. It could be to your entire database. We're going to go through um, kind of where to choose those options moving forward. So um, email marketing, email broadcast is a form of marketing. So we have that tucked away here under the marketing icon. So I'm going to click on marketing and you'll see it pulls up different types of marketing I can do. So in this case, I'm going to choose the email broadcast. All right, so now it's saying you haven't sent an email broadcast yet. If I had, it would actually show me a list of the previous broadcasts that I've sent. So you have an option here to go to new broadcast and choose it, or I can just click create a broadcast here as well. So go ahead and choose that. All right, so it's saying here that their broadcast builder has been updated. Um, you can click here to return to the legacy builder. So they, you know, you'll see this kind of sometimes in different apps um, what their options are, but I'm just going to go, okay, got it. So here we have, by default, it drops me into a gallery. So you'll actually see a lot of different options, some pre-formatted things. You'll see some holiday stuff. Um, really helpful in creating, um, you know, emails because there's a lot in here already designed and ready for you to choose and go. So let's just say I'm going to create or I'm going to select this one. Uh, well, actually, before I do that, you can see there's also my templates. So if you've created your own templates, they'd show up in there. Um, I can go to sent emails and actually choose one that I've previously sent to uh, build from, or I can go to drafts if I had some in drafts. Um, this is my, what they call sandbox developer account. So I don't have, this isn't an active uh, keep account. So of course you don't see any in mine in that particular case. Now I can also uh, filter these out by industry if I have specific industry that I can find in there or by usage. Um, so like what types of things, abandoned carts, activation, e-commerce events. So again, really cool way to kind of filter down and choose different options. All right. So let's go ahead and we're going to go back, just go back to view all. I'm going to choose just a simple one here and we'll go ahead and select that. All right, so from here, you'll see we have a particular um, way. Now, this is kind of broken up into different elements and different content. I'm not going to get too into all the design features specifically because um, that could be in itself, you know, a separate video, but also, um, you know, it takes a little more time. And I'm trying to just go through the steps of sending an actual email, uh, not so much designing one because there's lots of different options when it comes to design. But let's just say this all, you know, is a, a great option. We like what we see here. Um, we're going to use the same thing. We're going to do a New Year's sale up to 50%. And, you know, we have our titles and texts, right? So you see all that. So this is all things that you can update. You'll see things kind of change over here on the right-hand side um, as I go through different features, right? What I link up to. Okay, so let's say this is all good. Um, we like the way it looks and we're ready to go. So we're actually gonna go here um, to send. When I go to send, this is where I have my options on the details regarding sending it. So um, I have like from the contacts owner or I can choose a particular person in the system itself. Um, the contacts owner is going to basically send it from the same email right to the different contacts but it's going to forge in you know the email address and the name of the person that's assigned to that contact and keep which is really cool um, but if you're the only one in the in the application then whether you use contacts owner or if you go ahead and choose yourself um, basically it'll give it the same result now also i want to who am i sending it to so you'll see here it says start typing to add contacts or tags so i can actually go now if i have saved lists you'll see those are here. That's what this little indicator is. So there's a clean list, clients, customers, dead leads. These are all lists that I've already created and keep outside of this interface um, in order to identify my contacts. So I can do it that way. Um, I can click on add new contact. So like maybe I'm sending it one off, right? Or 
there's someone else that's not on the list yet, someone I thought about, so I can do that even right here on the fly. I can also do by tag, so you see that little tag. So let's just say I wanted to do new, and you see I have either the list, new leads, the save list, or I have tags, prospect tags and customer tags for a new customer or new lead. So I can choose that. I can actually choose multiple as well, and my clean list, and my customers, and my whatever, and I can actually build all of this up just with using tags. So I can create a combination of people or, or one list based on a combination. You'll also see next to each one it shows how many people are on that list, which is another cool feature because it kind of gives me an idea of how many people I'm going to try to reach here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and give it a subject line. So um, let's say it's nice to meet you. And then I can use merge fields as well. So I can use, for instance, first name. Nice to meet you, first name, right? That's a cool little thing. I can also use uh, dates, which is really cool. So date and time. So I can, you know, again, more make it more customized that way. Um, I can get some profile information. So I can use merge fields. So use those to make it more custom. Um, we also have preview text. So this would be what shows up in the actual um, inbox before they click to see what the message is. So it's a way, it, usually email uh, programs where are gonna choose like the first set of, you know, first sentence or two or first several words and show that as the default in the inbox, but we don't wanna do that. We wanna control that a little bit better so we can actually put specific text like you don't wanna miss this one or, you know, this has, we don't wanna be too gimmicky, but um, you know, this is the information I was talking about or something like that, right? To get them to uh, wanna click the email to see it. And then we have options to either send right now, right? So it's gonna get queued up and send as soon as you go or at a specific time. So I can actually choose what the options are in here. Okay, so really cool. Um, again, a lot of, lot of functionality, a lot of different ways. I can do time zones, I can do, you know, based on the contacts time zone. So that's a really cool one. So um, in the system, if you're sending to people that are in central and in Eastern or whatever, but you want it to go to, you know, at 9 a.m in their time zone versus 9 a.m. in your own time zone, um, you can do that as well. So a lot of really cool things um, that you can do there. Um, also, you can send yourself a test. So that's definitely valuable. It's always good to kind of send that to yourself before you, before you go, before you send it out. Um, and once I do that, I just go ahead and click send broadcast. And that's it, it's scheduled to go if you schedule it in the future or it's on its way out uh, within minutes of you hitting send broadcast if you're sending it now. So pretty straightforward. If you have any questions on that, by all means, you can reach out to us at team at